And welcome to your Go Market update for today, Tuesday, the 27th of September. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, with your wander around what's happening today in financial markets. As we look across the news, of course, we had weaker sentiment continuing in the US equities last night with all major indices to the downside again. The NASDAQ did honour June lows. It's had two attempts to break through that over the last two days, and we do note it's up today. So one wonders whether we may be trying to form a bottom but it's very early to make that call. The UK tax situation and general growth concerns appear to be a drag on sentiment. There's an interesting disparity between the UK government and the Bank of England who have insisted that uh, despite what is happening from a government point of view, they are going to continue their aggressive approach towards inflation. US futures are slightly higher in Asian trading and Asian indices are currently cautiously ignoring that negative US lead. We are seeing an update at this stage. The ASX is up about 0.4%, but it is specific sectors that are outperforming materials and energy, notably are pulling the market into positive territory. European equity futures are also pointing to a higher open at this stage. The US dollar index continues to climb on the back of weakness, particularly in the euro, the GB pound and the yen. It has pulled back a little bit in Asia and the GB pound, as we've intimated, continues massive volatility. Gold continues to weaken and is testing March 2020 lows and oil is testing year to date lows. Copper is just about holding 330 support and the VIX is reflecting that worrisome market sentiment. It is over 30 as a close last night, but it has pulled back this morning a little bit on that US futures positivity. Bitcoin is also showing some buying this morning in Asia, somewhat surprisingly, and has bounced off that 18,600 support, so around about 19,500, still under the key 20,000 level. It is a quieter day today before a busy end of the week. We have got a speech from the ECB chair, Christine Lagarde, due, and US durable goods are the major highlight in tonight's data. Uh, these are both potential market movers, although one suspects it may be a technically driven day rather than on the back of any key news, unless there's something unexpected comes out. A couple of charts caught our eye today. If we look at PLS, the lithium stocks took a bit of a battering over the last couple of days, but you can see massive buying coming into this today. This candle is interesting, and if we get a break back over 465, it suggests that buying is well and truly back in. You can see it is a high volume candle compared to the low volume candle associated with selling yesterday, suggesting some institutional buying might be coming in to this particular stock. If we look at the GB pound US daily, you can see the volatility associated in anything doing with the pound. There is that long candle with a long wick on the previous day's trading on the back of those tax cut announcements. You can see the big bounce in this though. And we have got a very interesting situation going on this morning. Let's just move down to the hourly chart. And you can see there how we had a major move up last night, a little bit of weakness in the US overnight but look as though we could be shaping up again for an interesting move possibly if we get a move over 108.82 this could precipitate some more buying and pushes back up towards 110 you can see the volatility associated with this if we look at the atr the norm is around 46 pips on our chart you can see here at our high we're hitting 140 pips an hour on this peak trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now